CPU 1 aspirants so your midterm exams are coming and in this video I am going to discuss the most important questions that you need to prepare for your PU 1 midterms. So if you just prepare these questions then definitely you can score uh, 50 plus marks will be guaranteed so you don't have to worry at all. So please just uh, take a screenshot or list down these questions and you can easily find their answers in your uh, NCRT textbook. So just write down and learn these answers and go for the exam. So let's get started here with the first chapter that is some basic concepts of chemistry, right? So for some basic concepts of just a minute, yeah. So for some basic concepts of chemistry, I'll tell you, you need to remember all the laws that is being there, okay? These laws can be asked in one or two marker section. So for example, conservation of mass, uh, one second, yeah. Conservation of mass, definite proportion, multiple proportion, Gay-Lussac's law, Avogadro's law. Okay, these all laws with definitions you have to remember. Next, what is AMU and its uh, value? Okay, next we have homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures, their examples you need to know. Then you have pure substance and mixture difference. You should know how to write at least three points you should know. And then number of significant figures in any number can be given and they can ask you what is the number of significant figures here. This can be very well asked in your MCQ section. So you should know how to, uh, what are the rules to find the number of significant figures. Next we have what are isotopes and mention isotopes of carbon that is also there now coming to definitions and formulae so here you should know the definition of molarity molality and mole fraction okay their definitions and formulae next how to define m sorry how to define empirical formula and molecular formula now from empirical formula and molecular formula oh one second students i'm so sorry yeah so for so for empirical formula and uh, molecular formula, numerical questions can be asked from here. So definitely you need to practice numericals from here. Then percentage composition and conversion of centigrade to Fahrenheit. These are some important questions in one and two marker. Now moving to three marker questions. Yeah, postulates of Dalton's atomic theory, very important question. And as I told you to find molecular and empirical formula, this is a must numerical, you must practice such questions and this is also easy to solve okay so please do try out these questions now also if you want a separate video on only numerical questions you can comment me down i'll also make that video so if this is needed please do let me know in the comment section okay moving to the next chapter structure of atoms so here also there are certain laws that you should first be focusing on so the first thing is your heisenberg uncertainty principle whenever any law you are preparing with law you should also know the formula of that and the meaning of each term in the formula next you have aufbau principle of uh, we have aufbau principle one second yeah so we have Aufbau principle, Pauli's exclusion principle, Huhn's rule of maximum multiplicity and n plus 1 rule. Okay. Now coming to limitations of or drawbacks of Bohr's model of atom and Rutherford models of atom. Okay. So this is important theoretical questions that you can guess in 1 and 2 marker. And next is your de Broglie equation, Rydberg equation. These are also important and to write the distinguish between orbit and orbital. Two points are enough, two to three points you should focus on. Now coming to the next thing, three marker questions, observation of Rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment, okay, and here also you can also get a question from observation and on the basis of observation what conclusions where we get and from the conclusions what was the model of atom suggested by Rutherford, okay, according to the Rutherford model, what are the points of Rutherford's model of atom, then postulates of Bohr's model, very important. Then photoelectric effect, what were the observations made by photoelectric effect? Then cathode ray discharge tube, what are the uh, uh, properties of cathode rays and that experiment? This is a super important question out of these six questions. Every year question is asked from here. Quantum numbers and their significance. Okay. Now characteristics of canal rays is also important. Moving to the next. So here also if you want separate numerical questions only the list of numerical questions do let me know in the comment section i'll make a video very soon on only numericals but it is only i'll make if you put down comments and tell me that it is required for all of you 
Moving forward to classification of elements, so we have state laws in that you should know Mendeleev's periodic law, law of triad and law of octaves. These three laws you should focus on. Now there are certain definitions, inner transition elements, transuranium elements, what are isoelectronic species, what are metalloids and each of their examples you should know. Next we have isoelectronic with neon there will be any similar question also you can expect so you should be knowing how to find out similar isoelectronic species next coming to periodic trends in two and three markers ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy and its si unit then its variation along the period and down the group this is super important question and ionization enthalpy definition is very important you should write properly the complete definition okay next similarly we have electron gain enthalpy along the period and down the uh, period uh, down the group how it varies then similarly electronegativity and its trend along the period and down the group now coming to give reason you have ionization enthalpy of boron uh, is less than that of beryllium what is the reason then you have ionization enthalpy of oxygen is less than that of nitrogen Ionization enthalpy of aluminium is less than that of magnesium. These are all reasoning based questions that can be asked and has been repeated over years in the uh, paper. Mention two factors on which ionization enthalpy depends. You can write down any two factors like uh, electronic configuration, then the distance from the nuclear size, there are so many uh, factors are there. Next, this is very important question between fluorine and chlorine, which is having lower electronic en enthalpy. So fluorine has lower electron gain enthalpy. And what is the reason for that? All of you know that is because of smaller size and more inter-electronic repulsions. Moving to the next one, chemical bonding. We have one and two marker questions. Sigma bond, pi bond, ionic bond and covalent bond. These definitions we should know. Next, bond order, bond angle and bond length. Next, we have dipole moment and its SI unit. Okay. Now, coming to the postulates of Vesper theory, MOT, that is molecular orbital theory and valence bond theory. Okay. So, these are all the things that you should remember. Now, moving to the next one, two and three markers, SP hybridization using uh, ethyne and BeCl2, how to explain what are the things you need to write, what are the diagrams you need to draw, that you should focus on. SP2 hybridization, uh, BCL3, next you have SP3 hybridization, CH4. So, their diagrams and the uh, thing that you need to write, that you should be focusing on, which orbitals are undergoing hybridization, what are how many new hybrid orbitals are formed, these all things, how to frame the answer, you should prepare once. Next uh, formation, sp3, d2 hybridization, octet rule and its significance and limitations. Or here also question can be asked about the exceptions in octet rule. Okay. Now moving to next thing, you have to draw the Lewis structure for H2O, CO2, chlorine. So these all molecules, they are Lewis structures you should prepare. Next you have ammonia using Vesper theory, shape of NH3 molecule using hybridization, why the dipole moment of BF3 is 0, very important question. Resonating structures of CO3, 2 minus and CO2 and here I will add one more that is ozone. Okay. Next, draw the shape of the following hybrid orbitals, sp, sp2 and sp3, their shapes you have to draw. Give the relationship between bond order and bond length. Next, what are the causes and condition for formation of hydrogen bonds? Okay, this is important and here also types of hydrogen bond you should prepare. Types of hydrogen bond. What are the types of hydrogen bond? That is uh, inter, intermolecular and intramolecular. Okay. Now coming to the next one, some basic principles and techniques. Okay. So coming to basic principles and techniques in five marker section, you have these questions that Zeldal method, Dumas method, Liebig's method and estimation of halogens by Carrier's method. Numerical questions can be asked from here. Definitely it will be asked. So please prepare this question. Now you know in five marker question, it will be either 2 plus 3 or it can be either 2 plus 2 plus 1 types uh, subdivision will be there. So in this 2 plus 3 uh, section, you can guess certain questions can be asked. For example, what is position isomerism, functional isomerism, then substitution reaction, addition reaction, homolytic, heterolytic fusion, free radical, carbocations, carboanions. So these all definitions with examples you should be knowing. Now coming to the next one, nitrogen detection by lazine filtrate, this is important question. Next uh, detection for halogens, 
नेक्स्ट वॉट इज रेजनेंस हाइब्रिडाइजेशन स्टेट ऑफ ईच कार्बन इन द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड सो सी एच टू सो यू शुड नो वॉट आर द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन स्टेट ऑफ ईच ऑफ दीज कार्बन इन द कंपाउंड नाउ वी हैव सर्टन मोर क्वेश्चन लाइक स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला सो वंस यू नो द आई यू पी एस सी नेम यू कैन ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला नेक्स्ट वॉट आर इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट मेजोमेरिक इफेक्ट इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट एंड द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन दम स्पेशली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट ओके दैट इज आस्ट रेगुलरली सो प्लीज प्रिपेयर दिस वन इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट वर्सेस इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट ओके सो दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिफरेंस एंड इट इज अ वेरी वेरी रेगुलर क्वेश्चन दैट इज बींग आस्ट हियर नेक्स्ट आई यू पी एस सी नेम ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड सो वी हैव टू कंपाउंड्स हियर देर आई यू पी एस सी नेम यू कैन prepare so there can be many examples so just focus on the examples and questions that is given in your ncrt book okay now moving forward to hydrocarbons let's see first of all name reactions are there friedel craft acylation alkylation woods reaction kolb's reaction these are all the examples given next uh, name reactions that you need to prepare after that there are certain other name reactions like hydrogenation dehalogenation dehydrohalogenation decarboxylation okay and you have to write them with example or equation next we have explained the mechanism of chlorination of methane chlorination of benzene and nitration of benzene okay these all reactions you can prepare now we have uh, how is ethane prepared from calcium carbide give equation okay ethane preparation from calcium carbide very important reaction test to distinguish between alkanes and alkenes you can write down here the use of uh, bromine water or decolorization of bromine water then in aromaticity what is huckel's rule markovnikov's rule with an example important question sedzev's rule with an example cis and trans isomer of but 2 ene conditions for an organic molecule to exhibit geometrical isomerism this can be easily a two marker question what conditions are required for a geometrical isomerism next here we have conditions for an okay this i have discussed aromaticity what is the condition newmans and sohas projection and eclipse projection of ethane oh, sorry yeah of uh, ethane next we have what is pyrolysis then you need to know the general formula of alkanes alkenes and alkynes this is very basic right after that we have lindler catalyst yeah you have lindler catalyst and lastly the effect of the following that is whether they are meta ortho or para directing group so nh2 as you know it is an ortho para directing cho is meta directing uh, ch3 is also ortho para directing and cn is meta directing so like this certain simple questions will be there if you prepare these many questions now i'll tell you if you don't have time okay to uh, check for solutions of each and every question you can just use uh, so many ai tools are available you can put these questions there you will get the defined clear answers of all of them so no need to worry do not waste your time if you don't have otherwise it is very good if you just make a note so just make a notebook and write down important questions of hydrocarbons and all this 18 questions write down the answers and then try to learn this answers understand it and then learn the answers that will help you to get maximum marks and that is what you can do at this last moment to boost your performance okay so i hope this video was helpful and whatever questions i have discussed will be helpful for all of you so if you want this question list or pdf just join our whatsapp channel the link is there in the description section and also do not forget to subscribe the channel because in my next video i am going to come up with a solution of a 2024 midterm paper of bangalore north so if you just want to have an idea how is the paper level how, what type of questions are being asked so do not forget to watch that video it will be coming soon so do subscribe the channel thank you so much and all the best and remember these questions can be your savior so please prepare these questions bye bye and take care